Hello everybody, welcome back to the guidance of the emoticon M221. In this video, I'm going to show you how you need to set up the Ethernet port of the emoticon M221 in order to exchange information between your laptop and the PLC. So let's go to the presentation. So in this case, I have my laptop configured into this IP address in this network, and I want trying to do is to set these Ethernet parameters for the PLC that I have next to me. And what I'm going to do is to change, totally exchange the information, the, the way of communication via USB to the Ethernet. So in order to do that, what we need to do is to go to the configuration tab and then select the Ethernet one, the only one that we have on the M221, if it's one with Ethernet, and change the, if we want a fixed IP address, in my case, we need to select the fixed IP address, modify the Ethernet settings that you have, and finally, check these security parameters that we have on the software, okay? And pay attention on this one, programming protocol enabled. If you don't check this, even if you have selected the Ethernet address and everything, you can ping the device, but you can't connect using the software. So it is important for you to check this in order to make it work. And optional, I use this one, the Modbus server, in order to communicate and exchange some of this information. So Let's continue with this part of the presentation. Here I explain a little bit how you can change the IP address of your computer in case you need it. Just go to Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center, and then you just go Change Adapter Settings. Let me just show you quickly. Control Panel. Control Panel, okay. So the control panel, you should find the <laughs> network and sharing center. Click over there. This is the view that you have. And then change adapter settings. Here you need to select the Ethernet port that you're using. Properties. Here you need to select the Internet protocol version 4 properties and tie the IP address of the IP that you want for your computer along in the same network that you have. Once you have completed that, then you should be able to check if the PLC has connection with it. So let's open our application. Okay, this is the application that we have. Configuration Ethernet 1. Now I want to have a fixed IP address, 192. 168.1.2.2.1. Going to find this one as it. One, one. And here I'm going to activate programming protocol and Modbus server protocol. So, mm -hmm. in the first instance, I'm going to disable this. Okay, apply. So you can see how is the behavior. So I'm going to connect via USB. So I'm able to, to connect to the PLC, okay? And make the change of the IP address. So login. Administrator. Administrator. It's only right protection I'm looking for. This one is for the previous video I had made. So, in this case, I am connected via USB and Ethernet. But I'm going to show you that after I define the IP address, controller info, you can see here, this is the IP address of the equipment. If you go to controller info, you can see. So, what I'm going to do now is to show you that even if I set right the IP address. If I don't check this, I shouldn't be able to connect via machine expert basis. So I'm going to log out. 
in the PLC. I'm going to save this. I'm going to remove the USB cable. Okay. Now I'm going to ping the. Let me just close this so I can show you how to activate this command prompt. Ping. 192.168.121.221 okay ping so I have connection I have the physical connection via Ethernet to the controller but if I don't select that option I shouldn't be able to connect to the real target so let me just show you that I still physically connect okay and now let's Add this minus T. So I have this trying to connect. Okay, you can see it's still reading. Commissioning connect. This is the controller I want to communicate. Okay, login. Login. See, so we have an error over here. Even if I connect it, I'm not able to identify what's going on. So you can play the software or you can play the PLC, but the real thing is that you haven't selected the right option. So configuration, I'm going to enable this now. Apply. But in order to connect, we need to use the USB because the Ethernet port is not going to be used in here. So we just connect again. Over here, like this. The USB is recognized. Now I'm going to log in using the USB. You can see here the way. Login. Okay, I'm going to download the new application because I have already made some modifications in there. Okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. So play. Here is the AP address. Okay, so what what you do now is to log out. I'm going to remove the USB just to show you that I know using the the USB connection, only the Ethernet one. Close this, the port. Just to show you that, that I perform the Ethernet connection. Select the IP address. Login. Still connected. And there is it. I am online with the controller perfectly without any problem. So it's important that you define how do you want that the IP address of the PLC is made. You can select DHCP, so the server assigned the IP address, or you can use a fixed IP address. And it's important that you select this programming protocol enable. So you can see the behavior that you have if you don't have it selected. If we continue with presentation this is what I show you I have already checked everything it seems to be connected but if we don't select this there is no way to connect to the controller and the other one is how we can identify uh, which is the default IP address of the equipment it's simple it's based on the MAC address that you have so you can select the 10.10 dot the last two digits the last four digits of the MAC address okay this is an example and this is the subnet mask okay place A so you can ping or make any kind of configuration that you require for the controller okay so I leave you to perform these operations in order to download using the 
the Ethernet capability of the controller if the Oticon M21 that you have has the Ethernet connection. Otherwise, you can't do that. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.